The letter. Try not to look down, Daria. <coughs> Lisa, you have to squat before you jump. Uh, uh, I'm okay, really. It's the yacht that's spinning, not me. Dorma, take deep breaths. It makes running easier. Professor, why do we have to take these phys ed classes anyway? Wouldn't it be better to practice our magic? Oh, but girls, you're already doing great with your magic studies. Your fitness levels are what could stand to be improved. Remember how tired you got during our hike through the Laughing Mountains? <laughs> that was no laughing matter. I think we're in great shape, Professor. <gasps> Rest, then do it one more time. <sighs> For the record, I can jump, you know. At least when I turn into a frog. And why run on your own when you can have seven league boots? And balance. As if I really need to know how to walk on a beam. Anyway, getting around on a flying carpet is cooler. If only we didn't have visit. That's a great idea. Let's write to the Magical Council. They set the school program, so they should get rid of a useless class. The professor won't argue with them. Dear Magical Council, we the students Daria, Dorma, and Lisa believe that wizards don't need to run, jump, and walk on balance beams. So we ask you to cancel physical education. It's outdated. <laughs> the Squirrel Express won't be here till next weekend. We should take the letter to the Postal Oak ourselves. Are you sure we're not lost? According to the map, the Postal Oak is just past the Creaky Thicket, which is right there. <laughs> Getting rid of Phys Ed is harder work than doing it. This is a one-time thing. We have Phys Ed all the time. I think we go that way. <gasps> Hear that? Oh, it's so cute! <gasps> Jumping toadstools! They're the oldest kind in the world. I've wanted to study them for so long, but the immortal said I'm not allowed in the toadstool reserve. I see why. I'd study these from afar. How do you think they got out of the reserve? <gasps> the toadstools didn't get out of the reserve. We've wandered into it. And jumping toadstools don't like visitors. They're afraid that they might get stepped on. Well, I don't think we stepped on any, did we? Just be sure not to touch them, or you'll spend all week being really itchy. Itchy? Gross! Stop still! Second to first, reverse! No, you see? Our magic doesn't work where the jumping toadstools live. That's why they're kept here in a special reserve. So what do we do now? Run! <laughs> if only we had seven league boots. Remember what the professor said. Deep breaths. <sighs> There's another door over there. Everything's backwards in this meadow. The toadstools go after people. And the path is soft. I wonder why that is. That's not a path. It's a swamp. We can't go this way. Look, there's the postal oak. We can walk across that log, but be very careful. <sighs> the flying carpet would be useful right about now. Oh, oh, oh. <sighs> I can't get across with all the shaking. Yes, you can. Just don't look down, okay? Just like the professor said. Look at us! It feels like walking on solid ground. You are on solid ground. We did it! The exit's there! Uh, so, at least the toadstools didn't get us. 
I'm not so sure. <gasps> Remember, don't let them touch you. But do as the professor said. Squat before we jump. Before we jump where? Here! <laughs> I've never jumped that high! Even when I was a frog! All thanks to Fizz Ed. Yes, if it hadn't been for the professor, we'd be quite itchy. You know, my hands actually are itching to change some things in the letter we wrote. I apologize, girls. It was probably me who forgot to lock the door when I was showing Grunewald around. Tell me, if it's not a secret, what was so urgent about your letter? That you couldn't wait for the Squirrel Express to come to the school? It's not a secret, Professor. We remember every word. We asked the Distinguished Council to express our gratitude to our Professor, who teaches phys ed and makes us jump and run and walk across balance beams even if we get cranky about it. His advice saved us from the jumping toadstools! <laughs> Thank you for that, girls. It's always lovely to receive praise from your students. Now, don't you forget, our next workout is bright and early tomorrow morning. I can't wait! Hooray! Bring it on! The Perfect Party Everyone, quick! We don't have much time! Daria, what's the matter? An attack on the school? A pop quiz? No, Rooney, it's nothing like that. We forgot Teacher's Day. We have to organize a party for the teachers. A party? I love parties! Oh. Oh. Not just any party, the best ever. It has to be the perfect party for the perfect teachers. But they'll be back really soon from the Magical Council. We'll never get it ready in time. We will, as long as we all work together on it. The Immortal's favorite color is red, blue for the Professor, and yellow for Marlene. Hmm. The only garland we have is green. Hmm. In that case, you need a spell to change the color. Here you go. Say it three times and the garland will start turning all the colors of the rainbow. Magical! <laughs> oh, Jess, that's excellent. The Professor and the Immortal play every evening, right? Right, those two like chess a lot. Yes, although this evening can't be like the others. It needs to be special. How about three board defector chess, invented by the wise men of the Kingdom of the Seven Peaks, you know? Of course, that's exactly what we need. Right, we'll need two more chess boards then. Got it. Whatever you're making smells good. They're coconut cookies, see? Perfect. Those are the immortal's favorite kind. Mm -hmm. And he eats them all the time, so often that he always keeps them in his desk. <laughs> they won't be much of a surprise. What about a coconut cake instead of cookies? He doesn't have one of those in his desk. <laughs> Great idea. How about a cake in the shape of a school? It'll be tricky keeping the towers up. Unpredictable syrup. The stickiest stuff in the world. It'll keep any tower standing. Yes, good idea. Hmm. I just can't decide which hats would look better for Teacher's Day. Let me think. What about... Academic caps! Of course! That's perfect for Teacher's Day. Huh. I hope that the teachers will like them as well. Violins. Pop. Double bass. All the Immortals' favorites. Although, Marlene prefers the trumpet and the flute. Then let's have a whole orchestra. Starting with the flute. Hey, what's this thing? A joy tuning fork? Tap the fork and everyone will be in a delightful mood all day. <gasps> With this joy tuning fork, the party will be perfect, even if something goes wrong today. Wait! What about our rehearsal? <gasps> no, my coconut castle! Uh, is that an earthquake? It's the joy tuning fork! There's something wrong with it! Hey, stop those defectors! Collins. They won't get away! We have to stop that tuning fork! Easy now! Stop immediately! Uh. Oh. Oh. That 
That's it. The party is ruined. It's my fault. Doria, if it weren't for you, no one would have remembered Teacher's Day. And we still have time to put everything back the way it was. Do we really? Of course. Okay, then. Let's get it done. Wow, is this what I think it is? How beautiful. It looks like the students here have organized a party for us in order to celebrate Teacher's Day. Happy Teacher's Day! Happy Teacher's Day! Happy Teacher's Day! Yeah! The joy tuning fork. I've wanted to fix that for years, but I lost it. How did it come to be at our wonderful party? I wanted everyone to have fun, but it turns out the joy tuning fork is broken. The chess pieces ran away, the caps flew off. All we have is checkers. Daria. It's the thought that counts, don't you see? We don't mind if we have caps or a certain game. You did this for us, and it's wonderful as is. Good deeds. Thanks for helping me water the sleeping herb garden. Happy to provide a little rain. Toma, you're a great gardener. Your herbs are actually glowing. Do all sleeping herbs have golden berries like this? They aren't berries. They're golden comet fragments. I read about them in a book by the great astronometer. Since you each found one, if each of you does a good deed for someone before sunset, your fragments will fly up into the sky and become golden stars. Golden stars? Are you serious? We are going to do such a huge good deed today. Then our fragments will be the brightest stars in the entire night sky. And they'll be called... Oh, Super Rumi. And the North Helen. We need the owl. She knows everything that goes on here. If someone needs a good deed, she'll be able to tell us. Help me! Oh! It's a disaster! It's horrible! All my unpredictable berry pies exploded! It turns out that unpredictable berries really don't like being baked! Oh! And I have so much to do today! Oh, what a disaster! Oh! Don't you worry! We'll help clean up! Rooney, this is our good deed! <sighs> Washing some dishes? I don't think it's enough of a good deed! Well, take a few more! No, that's not what I mean! To make our stars shine brighter than the others, we need to do something that isn't just helpful, but something grandiose. And this... We'll just finish this quickly. Okay, let's go. There must be some really important good deeds somewhere out there. Come on! Everything okay here? No one's gotten smaller. No one's stuck in a mirror, gingerbread acting weird. No. Is your tree solid? Magic all under control? The gauntlets have it run off? Uh-uh. <sighs> Annie, look! Huh? <laughs> Emergency squirrel meeting! Do you think something's happened? Definitely! Someone's bewitched the forest! And we're going to save it! Which will be an international good deed! Show yourself, you nasty sneaky... <gasps> Nut? All that commotion was just about giant nuts? Those could feed all the squirrels in Wondermont. They're going to have quite the feast. That is, if we help them roll the nuts up that hill. Usually, every day is an adventure here, but today, it's just washing up and nut rolling. Talk about bad luck. <sighs> if we don't find a better good deed, people will need a telescope to see our stars. 
even Baba Yaga isn't up to no good today. Or is she? Let's find out. I hope Baba Yaga is planting something beastly. The nastier and more unpleasant, the better. Bingo! Baba Yaga has put a spell on someone. Thank you, Grandma. Do you think it's Leshy? I hope so. I sense a great good deed awaits us. Let's rescue him. Follow me. Ugh. Look, that's it. The more stub in the bush, the brighter our stars. Uh. Just a bit more. Nearly there. Oh. Uh. oh. Hello there. Where is Leshy? What am I, his secretary? Only Leshy knows where Leshy is. So, there is no one who needs saving? No one needs saving? Me! I need it! How do you expect me to cope with these horrible prickly plants? No spell can get rid of them. They grow wherever they like and it's ruined my whole garden. Oh, if only someone could get rid of them for a poor old lady. It would be a very good deed indeed. Will you help me? Uh-huh. Huh? huh? What are you doing? Huh? I've been growing those weeds all year. <laughs> it's the roses you need to pull out. Roses. What? Yes. Just look at them. They're ruining my whole weed garden. <gasps> and speed it up a bit. Time's getting on. It's nearly sunset. Nearly sunset? We're out of time. Oh, not a single proper good deed all day. Ernie, look. <laughs> well, well. I see that today was a day for good deeds. In fact, quite a few good deeds. You must have been working hard. <laughs> we didn't do anything special, though. We did the dishes in the kitchen. And then moved nuts for squirrels. Yeah, and we weeded a garden, sort of. You think that's nothing special? Look, see? Your work in the kitchen allowed the owl to come assist me. Together, we found some valuable old instructions that the Magical Council long believed to be lost. And because all the squirrels were able to fortify themselves with the giant nuts, the Squirrel Express ran at full speed and delivered the instructions to all the wizards. And now, with these in hand, the Council can create new enchantments. We helped the Magical Council? That's pretty cool. And you helped me. Well, the heart. It's foot hurt, you see. It's so lazy. In short, I made an ointment from the weeds. The ones you pulled today. And these are for you. Because I've never liked them. Can't stand the color. There, you see? Even the smallest good deed can have a big impact on someone, somewhere. And they say that those thoughtful people who do good deeds have... <gasps> a heart of gold! Responsibilities. Don't get upset, Lisa. This time to improve your grade. Really? Could you improve it now? Pretty please? I'd love to, but not before you've retaken the structure of a suit of armor, the features of invisibility hats, and the carrying capacity of flying carpets. Remember, tomorrow is your retake. That means you need to study today. It's your most important responsibility. Hey, Lisa, why do you look sad? <sighs> I have to retake my test tomorrow, and there's so much I need to study. How can I learn it all in one day? Huh, that's simple. There's a spell that can help. I'll show you how to do it. Just repeat after me. Responsibilities come on, all the rest be gone. Responsibilities come on, all the rest be gone. So I'm ready for the test? <laughs> no. You still have to do all the studying yourself. Oh. But now, you're not going to forget to study. Thanks, I think. The overall mobility of a suit of magic armor is ensured with knuckles. No, wait, with buckles. Although knuckles would be more interesting. Hey, Lisa! We're having a frog race. Wanna jump in? It'll be fun. Doma even made a prize. Oh, so cute. Oh, but I need to study. We'll be quick. It's just a hop, skip, and a jump. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> On your marks. Get set and croak. And the 
the winner is Lisa. Good well job, done. Lisa. <laughs> Wait, where's the prize? Archie, come on, did you take my prize? It couldn't be Archie. I can see right through him. <laughs> Don't worry, Lisa. I'll show you another. When listing the most important features of standard invisibility hats, one mustn't forget... <gasps> Lisa, one of Miss Dragon's relatives flew in to visit. The Golden Dragon of the Seven Peaks. Is it true that he's all gold? Yep, from head to tail. Want to come see? Yes! Actually, uh, no. Sorry. I need to study. Oh, suit yourself. <laughs> Are you the Golden Dragon? I'd like to see you. <gasps> Are you invisible? Ah, oh, I see why. It's hard when everyone's staring at you. I hear you have a beautiful glow. Could I at least see that? Thank you. Oh, guess that's better than no dragon at all. The maximum carrying capacity of passenger flying carpets is determined by... Lisa, hey! Come for a ride on the six-legged beast! Mooney's taught him how to jump over bushes! I can't go. I have carrying capacity. I mean studying. He learned to shake hands. No way, really? Come on! That was your fifth lap around! It's my turn now! We're almost done! Now it's time for... The grand finale! Ready, go! <laughs> Six balls? Where are you going, Six balls? <gasps> it's Baba Yaga playing tricks. Toadstools hither, toadstools thither. Come to me and don't you hither. Please give Six balls back to us. I don't have him. And why would I? I have enough responsibilities. Responsibilities? Of course. Collecting toadstools, weaving nettles, and the fountain needs repairing. Hmm. <gasps> so that's where my prize went. Flying carpet here. You're covered in hair. From six paws. An invisibility hat. And golden dragon scales. I get it now. My responsibilities. Oh. Ah! Help! I'm being chased by my responsibilities. You're not done with them yet? Don't worry. This is just how the spell works. If you put off your responsibilities, they'll follow you around and get in the way of your distractions. How do I get rid of them, though? Huh. The same way as other tasks. You just do them. All right, then. You all come with me. So here's what I learned from my own experience. First, that a gauntlet can huh. detach from a magic suit of armor and operate on its own. And second, that an invisibility hat can become big enough to hide anyone, even a huge dragon. And third, that a flying carpet can carry so much weight even a six-legged beast doesn't bother it. <laughs> Great job, Lisa. Well done. You know, I used the responsibility spell myself recently. I had a paper to write. The pages wouldn't be quiet. <laughs> they rustled all night. Didn't get a wink of sleep. Are you coming or not? <gasps> mm -hmm. Go on. You were responsible. So now you can have some fun. The Courageous Feet. It's been more than an hour. She's going to set a new record. <laughs> An hour? I could do this all day. Well, you're good at sticking your nose up. How about this? That's amazing. Wow. <laughs> and I can go even wowser than that, too. Check this out. I've seen it a hundred times. Whoa, what is that? <laughs> I thought I asked you to speed up, not run like your shoelaces are tied together. This thing still needs hatching. What is she carrying? Never mind that. Look what she's running from. <gasps> dragon! dragon! Hurry, hide! Behind my dragon-proof shield! Look, he's got three heads! I'll take the left head. And the other two. You all handle the tail. 
what if he breathes fire? Don't worry, I'm a fire extinguisher. Let's keep going. It's hero time! For Wondermont! We're coming, Dragon! Surrender! Surrender! Where is the dragon? And do not forget to memorize the behavioral features of the Leshy in the spring. And in the summer. So, here come our star students, who shine so brightly they can't be seen in class. Please let us explain. We were attacked by a dragon. We tried to hide. I mean fight. And defeat him. Defeat a dragon? <laughs> we demolished him too. I hurled my boomerang. And I grabbed his tail. And I put out fire. You won't be coming here ever again. You drove away a dragon? You kids amaze me each and every day. We need to arrange a press conference for you with our best dragon experts. Now, go back to class and write everything that happened to you with as many details as you can remember. Hooray! Awesome dragon experts are coming! Like Firewing, the 39th! Or Martha the Dragon Weaver? They will teach us some cool dragon expert tricks. The Fluttering Master. Uh, uh. <clears throat> or the Heroic Capture. Oh, the Sneaky Invisible Princess! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what if we didn't actually scare him and he left on his own? <gasps> Didn't go far. We have to tell Mr. Immortal the truth about what really happened. But then we won't get to meet the dragon experts. You know, I think he wants the ball. He was chasing it before. Stay where you are, and I will conduct a dragonology experiment. Rooney, come back. You'll be eaten. This is a terrible experiment. No way to know until we try. <laughs> A dragon in our classroom? I doubt she was craving knowledge. This has never happened before. It's good that our young dragon experts were here and handled her for us. I must bring them to the Gathering of Heroes. Mm, that's great. Be proud, young heroes. What should we do about the dragon? She's never behaved like this before. Wait, she? Clearly, something must have happened. Oh, well. Perhaps we shrink her to fit into a cage. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Why in a cage? But the dragon didn't do anything wrong! Stop! The dragon's good! Look! Over there! Let's go, everyone. I wonder what the dragon's after. It must be something round, like our soccer ball is. Maybe a basketball? Oh, not a ball at all. Watch out! <gasps> of course, a dragon egg. That's what it's looking for. And that's why Mr. Immortal said she. It's a girl dragon. Hey, wait. Remember Baba Yaga? She was carrying something round, and it wasn't a ball. <gasps> and she told the hut to hatch it. It must be the, the dragon's, dragon's egg. egg. Well, when will it hatch? My very own loyal watch dragon. One head to the north, one to the south, and the third head will be looking to the east. And the fourth is west, I think. Wait, there are only three heads. Am I the fourth head? <gasps> what are you doing here? Oh, and now I only have one head. Make this dragon shrink in size, both height and width, and on all sides. Don't! Kids? Why are you here? Please don't punish the dragon. She didn't attack us. We made it all up. She was looking for this. We're not really dragon experts. We couldn't even tell a girl from a boy. Hmm, well, I'm glad you learned. Your lesson. A hard one. But I'm proud of you for telling the truth. Admitting your mistakes takes courage, not unlike fighting a dragon. You were brave, but the one you should apologize to isn't me, is it? There, our dragon experts have learned a lesson about dragons. 
that dragons are actually very friendly once you get to know them. Prince Vasco. And the magical dynasty of Woodstream is 5,000 years old. And now my father, Oakengrove, is the 252nd ruler. That was a very informative presentation, Princess Lisa. Thank you. And that is the end of our lesson. Our family started as fishermen. My great-great-grandfather caught a whale once, but they became friends, so he let it go. In Wisdom Land, all kings and queens are called the Wise. Our throne is set up in a library. There's still someone we don't know the tiniest bit about. Uh, uh who? You know who. Tell us about your family. Do you have a castle? Are there any towers? Um, I... I can't tell you. It's a secret. Huh? Why didn't you tell them about your family? It isn't like you're cursed or anything. The princesses, Levon! Princesses! I don't see how that's a problem. Of course you don't get it. You're from a royal family. You have a castle and you ride dragons. But me? I spent my childhood pulling weeds out. Would the princesses even still talk to me if they knew that? Vaska, we know everything! You do? But how? We read it! The Magic Herald says that the famous king of an ancient family has apparently sent his favorite grandson to the very best school of magic. Lucky kid, huh? This boy has natural talent. He could levitate before he even learned how to walk and flew off for ice cream. <laughs> Sounds great. Stop pretending. We know that it's you. Me? Mm. Of course. It's me. You guessed right. Yep, you win. It's me. And so to honor our prince from an ancient family, that's you, we cordially invite you to a royal picnic. Wow, a picnic. And we look forward to you showing off your amazing levitation ability. Maybe we could learn a thing or two. Piece of cake. Uh, levitation has to do with levers, right? Uh... I can't believe you agreed to this. Vasco, you don't even know what levitation is. Come on. This is my only chance to make them believe that I'm a prince. I just want to fit in. Okay. If it's that important to you, then my honor demands that I help you out. Rock on! But if you want to be more princely, then you should use more refined language. Do what I do. Light as air, soft as snow, soar above the ground below. Levitai, levitap, lift your head and levy up. Now you give it a try. Left face, march. Very good. Now to the right. This nettle's turned out great. And it's well trained. Soon it'll be growing everywhere. Oh! And just look at their flower beds over there. They know nothing about beauty. Light as air, rotten dough, oops, I mean soft as snow, I'll soar above you. <sighs> Levitai, levitare, lift me in the air. Uh, it's impossible. I've been working on it for a whole hour and nothing. Double swamp potion. Now none of their magic will be able to touch you. <gasps> My potion. I didn't even have a chance to finish making it yet. I'll never get this right. Stomp here, clap there. It just makes no sense. You'll get it. You just need to feel the magic in your bones, you know? Make it your own. <gasps> My magic? I forgot all about it! Yvonne, you're a real friend! No, a genius! <sighs> well? Rock on! I mean, magnificent. <laughs> Your attention, please! For the very first time, Prince Vaska will demonstrate his famous levitation. Hmm? <gasps> so you're the one interfering with my spell. Oh, you're in for it now. Nettle, ready on my command. Chase everyone away and seize the flower bed by the school. Wondermont will be ours. Onward! Uh, thank you, my friends. Oh. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> my special.
special nettles are magic resistant. Go! <laughs> Behind me! Huh? Our magic isn't making them go away! Then we should deal with them without any magic at all! Watch and learn! Ah! Oh, what kind of ancient magic warrior technique is that? Well, it's actually called weeding! Such a good retreat! I have enough nettles in my yard already! Way! <sighs> Just like back home on the farm. <laughs> oh, great job! Listen, I'm not some prince from an ancient family. I'm just Vasco from a long line of farmers. And I like you better this way, instead of being some fancy show-off. I wouldn't trade you for a million princes, my friend. Rock on! I guess being true to yourself is your best self. The Newcomers Wow, what a heroic painting. I've also got a shield like he does. <laughs> I beg your pardon, Sir Knight. I usually summon this shield myself, but this time it appeared on its own. <clears throat> Is it broken? I hope the new boys like soccer. I hope not. I dread the notion of the three of you running around together. Don't worry, Daria. They seemed very well behaved, if you ask me. <gasps> well behaved, you say? I'll have you know. We do not walk about the hallway waving shields around here. But the shield popped out on its own. Hmm. What a lack of manners. I planted these sleeping herbs over a month ago. When are they going to grow? Have you tried singing them a growing song? Yes. Watered them with the rainbow? No, not yet. <clears throat> what you need is some magic for the soil. Here. Back in my village, if something didn't want to grow, they would call me. Are you sure about this? Magical herbs aren't like digging potatoes. You must be careful. Just don't ruin anything. Please be careful. No! No! Now you've done it. It took a whole month to grow them. Please, you have to help us sort all this out. There's nothing to sort out. We didn't want your help, but you forced it. <laughs> Watch out! It wasn't me. Maybe not. What about you, Levon? I didn't do anything wrong. Heroes don't randomly wave their shields around. But a hooligan would. I'm not a hooligan, I'm a hero. In training. Come now, don't argue. It is clear to me that something mysterious is happening here. Do any of you have a suggestion? Perhaps the boys have been cursed. Perhaps. Quite possible. Let's try to detect it. <laughs> Vaki has never been wrong before. There's no curse. Then it was on purpose. We were trying to help out. Oh, yeah? Helping? It's true. Oh, really? It's true? You did do it on purpose. Girls, you're starting a fight again. Are you sure you should? We must not make accusations before we figure this out. We're going to see Mr. Immortal. In the meantime, no more arguing. Yeah. I think we should wait outside. We're just too dangerous for this school. We are? There, see? You're going to make the school fly away. As heroes, it's our duty to save the school from the two of us by becoming wandering wizards. Perfect. We'll wander around in search of adventures and dinner. And so, the boys have gone missing? We've searched the entire school for them, Mr. Immortal. Hmm. Then we must find them immediately. Girls, stay right there. I think the boy 
Others must have been offended by us. Why should they be offended? It makes no sense. I don't know. What if they left because of us? Let's find them. But we were told to stay here. I agree. We should go find them. Come on. Rooney, did you find them? Not yet. Me neither. <gasps> Girls, look! I found raspberries. Dorma, we aren't here to collect raspberries. Look there, it's a floating rock. All sorts of them. Dorma, don't fall behind. But there are so many floating rocks here. <gasps> Come quickly, I found them. <gasps> what are you doing there? N nothing. Hey, what's wrong? Who are you talking to? The girls found us. Give me your hand. A real hero doesn't need help. <gasps> you have to leave, it's too dangerous here. Are you listening? Get out of here now! We're not leaving you. Yes, and we're sorry. We know we were wrong. Give me your hand. We'll pull you up. Hey, Bosco, let them help us. They can pull us up. <laughs> Thank you. That was very heroic of you. Look out, everyone! <laughs> Look, my magic. It's finally working again. Automatic. It is a very rare magical phenomenon. You see, it happens when a magician becomes very sad. Their magic begins to lose its precision, and that is what happened to the boys. Yes, they lost their friends and their school, so of course they were sad. Exactly, and you girls were not very hospitable to them. Tell us, Mr. Immortal, do the students at this school sleep in trees? Yes, that is correct. And it's a great idea for a surprise. Here. Oh. Make our home your home. I hereby vow to defend Wondermont as my home. I hereby call the Top Punk! <laughs> <laughs> Daylight Robbery. Hmm, that's not bad. This one looks a lot more like the Immortal. At least, compared to those. Sorry. <laughs> Both of you need a little more practice. But not me. Oh, Rooney! You just ruined my act. At least you have an act. I can't think of a single thing to do. You could make the immortal snore. Well, awake. Or put Professor Cat to sleep. <sighs> but that's not very impressive. It's all right, Dorma. It doesn't have to be impressive. Tonight's performance is about entertaining the teachers. I'll go to the library. Maybe I'll be able to find a spell there. <laughs> Come back! Get down! Where are you going? Mr. Mortal, do you need some help? No, I'm just organizing my spell books. But they keep flying. Now come back! Get back here! This looks like the Immortal's personal spell book. This spell brings darkness in the middle of the day. Oh, impressive. Welcome, darkness. Farewell, light. Welcome, darkness. Farewell, light. Snuff out the sun, bring in the night. There you are! What time is it? Did I already miss the performance? Dorma, it's daytime! I don't understand it. The sun was just blown out. Like a candle. <gasps> it's all my fault. I was trying a spell from your magic book. I'm sorry, Mr. Immortal. And then I fell asleep and cast it in my dream. Dorma, what was the spell for? For temporary darkness. In the middle of the day. <gasps> what have you done? By casting the spell in your sleep, your magic was much stronger. Instead of a brief darkness, you've made... Eternal Night. <gasps> Eternal? As in forever? Oh. How can we fix this, sir? Is there anything we can do? We can, but we must act swiftly. We have to reverse the spell before the actual nightfall occurs. Otherwise, it'll be night forever. 
We have less than an hour. We must find the correct spell. Then we will all need to combine our magic and cast the spell together. We must unite our powers to bring back the day. Hmm. If it's going to take all our magic to undo this, then what we need is... Baba Yaga! Hurry! This spell to undo eternal night is in... a red book. Hmm. Or maybe it's brown. Begin searching! Do you think Baba Yaga will help us? Uh-uh. I doubt she'd help us willingly. She's not like that. And forcing her isn't a good idea either. Should you? Uh -oh. I'm right here. Good job. You made it night in the middle of the day. <laughs> Congratulations. I couldn't do that myself. We came to ask for help. The Immortal says we need all our powers cast together in order to reverse the spell, or it will be night forever. Forever, you say? That's bad. So bad, you won't have any herbs for your spells. They won't grow without sun. And your hut will hibernate. She can sleep when it's dark. Hmm. We need to cast a spell before actual nightfall comes. Hurry! <laughs> what are you doing? But I like this darkness. It works well for me. It makes it easier to get away with doing naughty things. <laughs> See you later. Hey, get off! <laughs> good try, princess, but not good enough. <laughs> We're free now. Oh. That means something bad must have happened to Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga, are you all right? Uh, so hard to see trees in the dark. Perhaps then you've changed your mind? <laughs> Sir, I'm afraid that we are almost out of time. I see that, but where are the princesses? We're here! Baba Yaga, why have you come? Oh, I had to come. Just look what those girls have done to a poor old lady. So, where's the spell? Oh, hooray! <laughs> it worked! <laughs> oh, yuck. So sentimental. Stop. I've had quite enough. I'm sorry I caused all this. The performance was supposed to be fun, but I took it too seriously. Yes, way too seriously. <laughs> it's not always about being the best. The thing to remember is, sometimes it's just the joy of magic. Couldn't you wait till after our acts to do yours? It is entertaining, though. <laughs> <laughs> Flower power. Oh, nobody ever remembers me. Nobody says a word. Oh. <laughs> Under my uh, direction, you might say. Actually, the girls did it all by themselves. Aren't they lovely? Ah, indeed. These are wonderful tulips. What place do you think we will win? Isn't it obvious, sir? We'll win first place. No doubt about it. Ah? Uh -huh. Hmm. We've never been able to win first place before. True, because we've never been in the contest. That's the reason why. Nevertheless, first place or not, these flowers look absolutely fantastic. My gratitude to our fine instructor. Oh, thank you, Mr. Immortal. But the girls did all the work. I've got mail. It's a card. But I wonder who it could be from. Let's find out. Hmm. To our dear Miss Baba Yaga. Look at this spelling. D-E-E-R. It's supposed to be D-E-A-R. What is this? We would all like to wish you, our beloved old woman, the happiest of birthdays. Huh? You wrote this, didn't you? Huh. So that's how it is. I am only 280 years old, and you're calling me an old woman? Hmm. You can have your card back. Just imagine, what if we really do win first prize? I think Marlene was just being nice to us. I mean, it's a flower contest for all the magic schools in the world. Hmm, does it really matter that much to all of you whether or not we win? Yes, it does. Flowers shouldn't be for contest. 
What are they for, then? Flowers are what knights give to the fair ladies. Hmm. What knights are those? You've been reading too many stories. So what if I have? What's wrong with that? It's romantic. I wish there were boys at our school. No, thank you. Ugh, my brothers never gave flowers. I know. Knights only live in fairy tales. <sighs> it's a shame. <laughs> It's a knight. How can that be? Rooney, did you just summon up a knight? Did you do that just to tease us? I didn't summon anything. Uh-huh. As if I would believe that. Whatever. Stop arguing, girls. He's walking toward our flowers. Then, does he want to give them to Lisa? I don't understand. Why would he give me flowers? Let's find out. Hurry! It's too late. Our poor flowers. He took them and left. Then does that mean that they weren't for me after all? Shh! Do you hear that clanking? That's him! Uh, why is the witch's hut here? Oh, oh no! The hut is the one who picked our flowers, and the knight is saving them! <gasps> Archie! Yes! It was him all along. He was listening to us and went off to find a real knight. Hmm. He was trying to do something nice for us. Was he? Did it ever occur to him that we have a contest? Award you the order of um, what do you call it? Flower power. Mm -hmm. Hooray! 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 Girls, who has a barrette? What for? To use for a medal. Actually, order is an honorary society, so the barrette isn't necessary. It is. Our order definitely needs one. <laughs> Thank you, Archie. Well done, Archie. Look! Baba Yaga's hut dropped this. I saw it. A card for Baba Yaga. It's her birthday. So then, the hut wanted to give her a present. I sort of lost my temper. So, um, thank you for the birthday card. <clears throat> uh? We wanted to wish you a happy, happy birthday. birthday. What? Don't be afraid. He's from the Order of Flower Power. He's here to say happy birthday, too. Happy birthday! Oh, well, what a lovely surprise, girls. Thank you. All this kindness and I have nothing to share. I didn't prepare anything. But not to worry, I'll whip up some leech soup right away. Uh, um... You do like leech soup, don't you? So the angle formed by ABC equals the angle formed by CAB. And that is how you prove this particular theorem. Did you get all that? Sure, we got it. Ah, wonderful. Uh, by the way, what did you girls think of Baba Yaga's leech soup? <laughs> what else did she have to offer you girls? She had some treats for us, eclairs and donuts. And little tots, too. I think I like the Napoleons most of all. <laughs> they were delicious. <laughs> Kidding the teachers. Ah, your pumpkin is growing wonderfully. We'll try turning it into a carriage later, like Cinderella. <laughs> Look what I grew. No one will be able to sleep well on this pea pod. No, no, you must make the peas ordinary. Fairy tale standards. Hmm. Interesting. <gasps> what have we here? Uh, well, these plants are invisible eggplants. Invisible? Hmm, I figured as much. A Forest Beauty Cosmetics magazine. You're too young to concern yourself with such things. Oh, 
But my grandmother has a birthday coming up, and she loves this sort of thing. Oh. While kindness is admirable, you're in class right now. Please try to focus on your studies. <gasps> they really grew. Mm -hmm. They're ripe, too. Well done, Daria. Professor Grunwald will be thrilled. He thought this variety of apple was lost forever. Who's that? Professor Grunwald? A professor of magical botany. I'm so glad Al kept those old seeds. Girls, Daria managed to grow rejuvenating apples. Oh, aren't mine as good? Why, Dorma, whatever do you mean? Your apples are wonderful as well. They're just like your fairy tale. Try my apples. Mmm. These apples taste like no other. They're very special. Perfect for apple pie. What do you think? A rejuvenating apple lotion. Grandmother would be thrilled. I'll only pick a few. There you are. <gasps> Where were you? I, uh, uh... Never mind. Let's go. I've got the sugar right here. Here it is. Mm. Mm. Oh, this is a real feast. The girls have done a wonderful job. May I please have this piece? Mmm, mm, this is magnificent. These apples are... They're from the magic apple tree. <gasps> oh. 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 <gasps> <gasps> hey! Give me some more. That pie was the bomb. What's happened to them? I did this. It's all my fault. My rejuvenating apples got into the pie. Oh, no. And I was so excited to find them. We didn't have enough. I don't understand. Why did you pick them? It wasn't many. I only picked a few. Hey, let's play tag. There's a teacher's meeting, and it's starting now. Ah! What kind of meeting? A fairy tale optic session. Professor Grunwald is waiting. <gasps> What should we do? It'll be fine. Take the kids to the office. Stall the meeting for half an hour. And I'll look for a way to reverse the spell. Wondermont, please come in. Wondermont, can you hear me? <laughs> oh, if things go wrong, I can create some static. Deal. Here we go. Did you request a video call? Did something happen? Mr. Immortal, I'm listening. Oh, you need something or what? Tell them about our garden, how it's totally off the hook. Make it sound really cool. Right, got it. Okay. Our garden is slaying it. One uh -huh. month school. Our botany skills totally rule. The plant things are growing. Magical knowing. Rock and the berry. Uh -huh. yeah, don't stop. Our garden is hot. Now our students will report on their successful botany projects. Uh, oh, uh... We've achieved tremendous success with, uh, growing these princess peas here. And a pumpkin carrot. And rejuvenating apples. Rejuvenating apples? But that variety died off ages ago. The scientific community will not tolerate fraud. Claims that cannot be backed up with proof will result in the school being disqualified and its license revoked. I've got your proof. Our teachers tested out the apples for, uh... Scientific reasons. Experimenting on themselves? Such admirable dedication. And I assume the antidote was prepared in advance? But of course. Uh, uh, hello, hello. We can't hear you. Uh, it's a bad connection. Uh, what? Oh, dear. Phew, close one. Well, you done? Almost. <gasps> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? Ta da! Who shall go first? Me! Let me try! It could make you older! But still, we mustn't experiment on the children. <gasps> it didn't work. The potion needs to cool off. Oh, uh, you're back now! <laughs> Well, due to my immortality, these things don't actually work on me. In this case, I wanted to see how you girls would get yourselves out of such a, uh, uh, such a curious predicament. And you did well. Where's my mummy? One moment. Let's get back to rescuing the teachers. Helen the Fair, if you would, please. Oh, thank you. I was quite thirsty. Mr. 
Mr. Immortal, can we please leave the professor this way? Look, he's so cute and playful. <laughs> <laughs> and review paragraphs 9 through 49. Wrong one. Ah, oh, here it is. <laughs> <laughs> I still think you should delete... My childhood has come to an end. <gasps> the antidote won't. <gasps> oh, no, Lisa. Oh. <gasps> Don't worry. It's only a mask. You see? <laughs> <laughs>